So you remember last week we finished at the stoning of Stephen. Remember when we played dodge last week? Just to remember about Stephen getting stoned and a lot of the uh, things that happened to the early church, the early apostles. Well, today we're going to be focusing on Paul the Apostle. Now, before his name was Paul, who knows what his name was? Simon. Saul. His name was Saul. Yeah, so before he was known as Paul, nobody really knows why his name changed over from Saul to Paul. But in about Acts chapter 13, Saul is referred to as Paul. And then from then on, we know him as Paul the Apostle, not as Saul of Tarsus. Okay, so this is where we finished last week. If you remember, the apostles at the day of Pentecost and they started getting spread out. There was persecution of the early church as they were going out and preaching the gospel. And who remembers what this man's name was? You remember Simon? Ah, is Simon only the one paying attention on Sunday mornings? You guys need to pay attention as well, hey? All right, so this is Stephen. You remember Stephen was preaching to the Jews. They didn't like what he was saying about Jesus Christ and they ended up stoning him. And you know, one of the men that was standing over here holding their clothes, consenting unto his death, what was his name? Who else knows besides Simon? Simon knows all the answers. It's good. No? Well, we learn, here's a hint. We're learning about him today. Ah, you guys got to pay attention. I already told you the answer. Wait, do you know the answer? Saul. Saul, that's right. See, there you go. So this is Saul over here. And so he was part of the persecution of the early church. He was... You know, going to the high priest, getting, you know, uh, permission to go and drag Christians into jail for preaching about the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, one day, we learn about Saul at the time. So he's not known as Paul yet at this time. He's on his way to Damascus. So this is a city in the New Testament. He's on his way there to go and catch Christians for you know, telling people about Jesus and telling them, hey, you don't need to keep all these laws in the Old Testament, the circumcision and uh, the temple laws anymore. <clears throat> so he didn't like that, right? Because he was a very zealous Pharisee. So he was on the road to Damascus going to go catch these, these Christians. But on the road to Damascus, what happens? A bright light shines and everyone is thrown to the ground, especially Paul, or Saul, and then he hears a voice in the Hebrew tongue saying to him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And Saul says, who are you? And he says, I'm Jesus whom thou persecutest. So he actually had an encounter with Jesus, this bright light, he couldn't see who, who it was that was talking to him, but he could hear the voice. And you know that light, you know, we talk about walking in the light of the Lord. Well, if you actually saw that light with your eyes, you'd be blinded. Because you know what happened to Saul when he saw that light? He got up and he couldn't see. He was blinded. So his companions that were with him, they, didn't, they, they heard somebody talking, but they didn't understand what was said to Saul. Saul was the only one that knew what was being said to him. So when he got up, he was blind. He couldn't see. So then his companions took him into Damascus, blind. And when he got into Damascus, a man by the name of Ananias was told by Jesus saying, hey, this man Saul is going to come and see you, or he's going to come, you have to go to him and uh, tell him that he's going to be used, that you've been sent by me and you're, you're going to be used to go and reach the Gentiles. And you know what Ananias said when Jesus came to him and said, hey, you've got to go see Saul? He was scared. Why was he scared? Because he's like, hey, isn't this the guy? Isn't this the guy that's trying to throw Christians in jail? He's persecuting us? So he was a little bit scared. But Jesus says to Ananias, don't worry. You know, this guy's a chosen vessel for me to reach the Gentiles. So Ananias, you know, being the obedient Christian he was, he went to Saul and he said to Saul that Jesus had sent him. And he laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. So as soon as that happened, Saul's eyes were opened. He 
he wasn't blind anymore. And then when he got up and he had something to eat, he was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's what happened to Saul. Now from then on, did, did he stop there now that he understood who Jesus Christ was and he believed on Jesus Christ? No, that's not where he stopped. Immediately he went and he preached the gospel. So from then on, he went out into the synagogues preaching that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and people were thinking, wait a second, wasn't this the guy that was killing people and dragging them to jail for preaching that Jesus was the Son of God? And now here he is in the synagogue preaching that Jesus is the Son of God. And you know, this is one thing, um, Atticus, turn around. This is one thing that we can learn from the Apostle Paul is it doesn't matter, you know, all of us have done bad things in the past and almost doesn't even matter how bad you can be, you can still be used by God if you're willing to serve him and submit to him. So imagine Saul, Saul called himself the chief of sinners. Imagine being the one that killed the people that were preaching the Lord Jesus Christ and now you're the one preaching the Lord Jesus Christ. That just shows the mercy of God, the grace of God, that we can all be used even though we've done terrible things in the past. Now, do you think, do you think, do you think the Jews were happy about this? That Paul is now out there, one of the most dedicated Jews that was once killing Christians is now preaching that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? No, they weren't happy. So while he's preaching, you got Paul, like he's being persecuted here and he's being beaten there. There was this one time where he had to escape out of a basket, out of a window in a basket because he was being chased, right? So they put him in this basket and they let him down the side of the building, right? So we see here in Acts 9.25, then the disciples took him, this is Paul, <coughs> by night and let him down by the wall in a basket. Not only that, there were times when they were put in jail. This is the time when Paul is with Silas in Acts 16. Right? And because they were preaching the gospel in Philippi, they got in trouble from the officials and they put them in jail and they put their feet fast in the stocks. These are called stocks. So what are stocks? They're like this wooden thing with holes in it and they make you sit down and your feet go into it and then the wood goes over your feet so you can't move, right? So their feet were fast in the stocks. You see how they're sitting there, they can't move and now they're in jail. But you know what they did when they were thrown in jail? You know what happened that night? What do you think they did? You know the story? Yeah, it broke. But what did they do bef before that? Before the jail bars broke open and the stocks came out? You think if you were in this situation, you think you'd be happy? You probably wouldn't be happy, right? But what did they do when they were in this situation? You know, remember now? They were happy. They were happy, and what did they do? They were singing. So they started singing praises to God, even though they were in this situation. You see, you see Paul there, he's, he's praising God, even though he's in this situation. And you know what happens? Then God does the miracle, right? God sends an angel and opens up the jail cell. It takes off these stocks and they were, they were able to escape, but they didn't, right? Because the, the jailer was a little bit scared that this is all happening. So he runs in with a light. He's worried that all the prisoners are escaping. His life is at jeopardy. So he falls down before Paul and Silas and he asks them, what must I do to be saved? And what's the answer to what must I do to be saved? What's, do you know the answer, Simon? That's it. Acts 16, 30 and 31. Brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. All right, let's read this one together. You ready? <coughs> Acts chapter 16, verse 30 to 31. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, 
and thou shalt be saved and thy house. So both you and your house have the opportunity to be saved if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's a few stories from Paul. Now how does the book of Acts end? The book of, obviously there's a lot of other things that Paul did through the book of Acts, but the way it ends is he ends up returning to Jerusalem and then he's under house arrest. What does house arrest mean? It means you're stuck in your house and you're not allowed to go anywhere. So he was like in jail, but not in jail, in a house. So he was under house arrest, but he was free to preach the gospel to whoever came to him. So that's how the book of Acts ends, that Paul is now under house arrest and he's writing a lot of his epistles to all the churches, but whoever came to visit him was allowed to come and visit him and he could tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. You can see he's bound there. So that's what he did. This is what Paul is known for. He's known as one of the greatest preachers of the gospel, going out, all the missionary journeys he went on. And what was the message he was trying to preach? That people need to believe on the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ in order to be saved. So I hope you learned something there about uh, the Apostle Paul, who used to be named Saul. Next week we're going to look at Romans. But today we've got a craft for you. Um, I'll just see if Elizabeth... Elizabeth, do you have the example? I'll just show you what <coughs> we're going to make today. <coughs> if you remember... Thank you. If you remember when Paul was going around and preaching the gospel, remember he was being persecuted, right? And so one day he had to try and escape and they let him down by the wall by night in a basket. So this is what we're going to make today. We're going to make this little basket and we've got the Apostle Paul in his basket and then, you know, he can be let down the wall to escape. <laughs> Okay, and we see here the verse, Acts 9.25. Then the disciples took him by night and let him down by the wall in a basket. All right, so hopefully you guys have fun making this. Let's go to the back. 